Well, good afternoon. afternoon. I'm sitting here talking with Tawana Honeycomb. Mm -hmm. We know her. We've been hearing so much about mm -hmm. the great work. Uh, congratulations on the book. Thank you. And I'm more than happy to have this opportunity to talk to you about a few other things. Okay. We've been sitting here talking about the proud parent you are and your son. What is his name? Tyree. Tyree. Yes. Wouldn't be named after anybody we know. His father. All right. <laughs> hey, Dad. Um, and I'm concerned with what I come to understand as I listen to your poetry. Mm -hmm. Those concerns that lie underneath your words. Yes. And as we've talked and we're starting to talk about this whole issue of values. Yes. Um... What are your concerns about and with Tyree and with yourself as you look to those things that are important for you to maintain as you try and guide him through his journey? Um, I am very concerned that I'm not going to be able to undo the excessive materialism that has uh, come to pass with our young adults and adult young adults and adults and um, having having to try to maintain a certain lifestyle so that my son can fit in in school or um, attend school comfortably um, I'm trying to figure out a way to get around that to where he is not obsessed with hundred dollar tennis shoes and hundred dollar coats and $60 jeans and that he is comfortable in his own skin to go to class and learn and to be about his education. Now he's very smart, but I, I have noticed that the older he gets, the more important those things become. And I want to know how as a parent to kind of shape him in a different direction. You know, how to become more self-sufficient and where he's okay with making his own things or contributing back to the community and things like that. So, As we've been talking, I, I'm so impressed with this train of thought that you have because you're only 35 years old. Mm -hmm. what, is re what, what is the root cause? How, how do you draw your values? Where do these come from? I, I'm going to say my values come from having been pretty much at the lowest you can go financially to having in a short in a, at a young age you know in my early 20s I was making sixty thousand dollars a year I had money in the bank I had my own place a nice vehicle things like that and at one point I had forgotten in a sense I had forgotten where I came from and um, my values changed and when my values changed and then I hit what some would consider rock bottom, it brought me back to reality that though those things that I would had become that had become so important to me, that job, the job that was holding me hostage because of those things, um, it, it was a rude awakening and I, a, a, actually an awakening that I'm grateful for that I did lose that income and that I did lose that money in the bank and that I did lose that home you know it was an apartment but I, I lost all those things and I was forced to face the fact that my values have been screwed up for that short period of time okay and your part as executive director of the urban network yes. cafe how did that come into being um, I met Youssef Shakur who was the founder at a Hill Detroit rally and I was actually performing. We had done a march where the west side of Detroit marched, um, the east side of Detroit marched from the east, and the west side marched from the west, and we all met up at Palmer Park. And, um, and then there was a series of speeches and performances and things like that, and we were on the same page. He was more of a speaker, and I was a poet, but the poetry that I wrote uh, corresponded with what he wrote he was speaking of and so we made the connection that way and then as time went on we started to do work together well it is without question that uh, he has a gold mine 
Yeah. <laughs> and those of us at Happy Frog are happy to have an opportunity to spend a little time with you and trust you, our eyes are on you and will stay on you <laughs> thank for you. some time. So thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> just 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 hit the tip of the iceberg of who Tawana Honeycomb who she really is. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.